Hey yo. I, of course, have done this magnetic experiment many, many, many times. Uh, additionally, with controls, however, not this time. Um, and as I've said, they always turn out the same. Um, electromagnetic phase shift is even visible underneath the ferro cell. Um, water molecule, which, by the way, is right here in my hand, 108, 36, 36. This also forms the base triangle of the Pythagorean pentagram, by the way. The uh, polarized water molecule, which is the basis for all life, um, behaves radically different underneath that EM phase shift uh, underneath the South Pole than it does underneath the North Pole. The North Pole. The phase shift um, is at a differential of phi to 1, or 1 to phi, depending on how you look at it. It is rarefied at a rate of 1 over the North Pole and uh, is compressed over the South Pole at a rate of phi. Um, germination, I mean, how these smell, I mean, radically different. That smells nice and green and tasty, and this smells like chemicals, and it tastes like chemicals. Look at this matted mess. Look, look at that. These are also a lot mealier. The root system is uh, weak and uh, watery and uh, this is uh, crunchy and hearty. You can actually taste it when you're eating, like if you actually take one of the root systems and uh, mash it between your fingers. It actually has substance. Over here, even though it's uh, much mealier and weaker when you actually crush it between your fingers, it's actually, you can almost see it. You can crush it between your fingers and it is just pure water. Look, there's nothing, there's nothing there. It's just it's just pure water. Once I squash the water out of it, there's nothing. Now if I do it on one of the root systems, trying to grab one here, one of the root systems over here, and crush it, underneath there, it still has substance. It still has volume. You can actually see that. Let me try it again. Okay. I'm trying to pluck one out over here. It's so matted together over here. If I actually crush it between my fingers, like this, and then run it back twice, see it actually breaks in two. And there's nothing there, it's totally watery. Now if I do the same thing over here, pluck one out. It's hard to pluck one out anywhere. There we go. And I crush it between my fingers and rake it back and forth. It still has substance. It still has substance. So they grow radically different. This actually, it's almost like it's imploding. Its only growth was limited to the dead center of the divergent north pole of the magnet here. You can actually see it. It is a matted mess. Over here, look, nice and fluffy. You're thinking, well, you just pulled that apart. You could do that over here. Yeah, I could, but I didn't. It always turns out this way. See this? Look how tightly it's bound. It's like a knitted sweater. The root system and how they grew together, they just grew together like a tangled. This smells awful. It tastes awful. Um, you know, one of the secrets is not necessarily only the long growing season. This is something people don't know too. It, most people should know it, but they don't. Is that the Earth's magnetic south pole is in the geographic north. The Earth's magnetic south pole is in the geographic... The Earth's magnetic north pole, excuse me, is in the, in the geographic south, down in Antarctica. The Earth's magnetic uh, south pole is in the geographic north. So, magnetic south is in the north geographically. The magnetic north is in the south geographically. So where things actually grow the best would be the closest epicenter uh, to that um, uh, to that pole. And people think, well, it's a longer growing season. That All of these monster vegetables, like the world's largest pumpkin, the world's largest tomato, the world's largest lettuce head, all this stuff comes out of Alaska. It's like, well, there are certain parts of Alaska that have that warm growing condition. They have this really, really long summer and they get a lot more light. Well, that's a big part of it, but the other part of it is it's actually right up there against the uh, Earth's magnetic south pole, which is in the geographic north. And uh, a proof, I know nobody wants to see me eat anything, so trust me, I'm only going to do it for a second. You, know, you can't do anything with that balsamic vinegar, right? And uh, zesty Italian. Ooh, I love zesty Italian. This, now you do this experiment yourself. This North Pole seeds 
stink and they're unedible. These are both from the same, these are all both the same seeds. This is seed exposure only. You get more radical results if you expose them during growth. Think of what this will affect. Those people that grow things, um, you know, as odd as this sound, there are actually people that make a lot of money with worm farms. They sell them to bait and tackle places. Radically different results if you expose your worms. Like, who's growing worms? There's some people making a lot of money growing worms, believe it or not. They sell them to bait and tackle places. You know, chicken hatching, you know, planting, tons and tons of applications. Healing. Those are inedible. This is garbage. You can't eat this. You can't eat it. It tastes chemically. It tastes like you're eating some sort of processed synthetic stuff. Mmm, tasty magnetism. Balsamic vinegar and zesty Italian, right? Oh. Oh, after I get off of this video, I'm going to eat the rest of this. Very tasty, very gross. Smells good, smells bad. All from magnetic exposure to seeds only for six hours. Five or six hours, doesn't matter. You don't actually need that much time. Say, so, do you remember that old fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, magic seeds? Ha <laughs> ha, magic seeds! <laughs> you want real magic seeds? These are real magic seeds, baby. Genuine magnet, uh, magic, <laughs> I don't call them magnetic seeds, right? Genuine magic seeds. Oh, you're full of crap. I don't think, I don't care what you think. This is reproducible by anybody. See, the way it works is life works off of water. Ooh, polarized water molecule. 108, 36, 36. The entire universe, 100% of the volume of the entire universe is magnetism. Oh my god, so like the whole universe is magnetism, and water, which is the basis of all life, is a polarized, polarized molecule. It's a polarized molecule, then like, ah, then like magnetism and a polarized molecule means that uh, strong magnetic coherent fields would like radically change growth, animals, plants, healing. Oh damn, here's the proof. Yummy, tasty, smells good. Smells like crap, tastes like crap. This can only go one place, and that is in the garbage. You can't eat it. You like give this to a hungry person, you're like, it smells bad. Ah. What did you do to it? Did you drop some uh, shampoo in there? It's what it smells like. It is what it smells like. It smells like, uh, I don't know, like dollar store shampoo. Not that I would know what that's like. Yeah. You saw it here. You saw it first. It's undeniable. It's irrefutable. It's true. No baloney. Magic. It's not magic. Science, bitch. It's a science that nobody is exploring. You know. The simple stuff. Mother Nature's a simple girl. You've got a bunch of uh, poindexter peckerheads in lab coats, a uh, thousand feet underground, you know, uh, playing with a large hadron collider. And I'm using uh, large neodymium ceramic magnets to show you, you know, radically practical uses for the most important uh, field modality in the universe. Magnetism. Yeah, I wrote the book on magnetism. That's right. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you could drop me a buck or two, or uh, or uh, 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 like a, a gift certificate to a big fat pizza place where I could get a fat pizza. <laughs> I'm being serious. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.